All right, guys, I <clears throat> just wanted to make a video because um, mission accomplished on this one. Um, let me walk through and let me show you real quick what the end product is. Um, it's fairly easy to set up. And um, I mean, I guess that depends on the person. But uh, <clears throat> this this guy here, Birds in Tech, awesome, awesome tutorial on getting this on an Android phone. But basically, I made some tweaks and changes, but it's there's all the credit to this guy here. Um, so let's get started here. Um, let's pull up. So first of all, you need to side load. I'm not going to go into all these details. You can look it up and, and uh, get tutorials on them. But um, anyway, you need to side load Termux and BVNC, the version of Termux from F Droid, I believe. Let's see. Let me move this out of the way. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Last time I did this. Um, the volume was a little low. Anyway, uh, so let me show you the version here. It's uh, 118 and 0 0.118, and it's from F-Droid, which is January 2022 is the latest one that I could find. Um, I did notice that some people had extra options in their Tmux. Um, I still haven't found that version or figured out uh, I'll be installing some API styles and whatnot um, anyway you can see here it's on oculus I've got the uh, Hollywood build it's the latest and greatest as of this date um, either way so that's for tmux and uh, and then what you need I've got a uh, pass through going on so I can see my fold keyboard and my mouse and I can work just fine with this. Um, also, you need to install sideload BVNC. <clears throat> um, so let's, let me get this started. And I installed F droid. Um, they have some plugins. I can't seem to get these plugins to work, so I'm not sure if it's uh, because of the version of Termux I'm running or what. Um, like this styling, I really wanted to get this working, but <clears throat> it. I believe it errors out. Let's see if it works this time. No, it went back to install. Yeah, so anyway, not wasting time on that right now. Okay, Termux. So first of all, what you need to do after you follow the instructions from this guy, Birds and Tech, um, awesome tutorial. This is the newer one. He's got a bunch of them. This is two weeks ago from today. Um, you want to get you want to follow the one with the XFCE Desktop Manager, Windows Manager, because um, it's lighter. It's gonna play a lot nicer and friendlier. So once you get follow this and you have it all installed and you're about ready to go, what you do is you open up one terminal in Termex and then you open up another terminal session and uh, make this one root. And uh, where's my keyboard floating here? There we go. Get rid of that. <clears throat> um, let's
let's see here. Make sure I'm. Okay, I've already gone ahead and um, I've gone ahead and cr created a s some simple scripts, basically one called login. Let's take a look at that. It's pretty straightforward. It's f f root dash distro login Ubuntu, and uh, you save that and uh, you change permissions on it for executable. Uh, where is it? Basically, this here. Then the plus x. That makes the files, the script files, executable. And they change colors to green, as you can see in that directory. Anyway, so let's run. These things are different than what was in his YouTube uh, tutorial. So that's why I'm bringing them up. <clears throat> this is just to simplify it. So I do login. Okay, so now I'm at root. So I'm at root for Ubuntu and uh, root user. And then what we do is, uh, where is it at? We do start server. But uh, before we do that, we go back to this guy. And this is just at root. And this is just the term X user. Say, just a plain Termex user. So what we want to do here is start the VNC. I wrote a VNC script. Let's see. <clears throat> and uh, the 1280 by 720 is seems to be a pretty good uh, display uh, resolution for this size window. Um, it's a little bit bigger, as you can see. First thing you do is you expand it, make it a little bit bigger. So that's the desktop you want to work in. But it's 2080 by 720. Here's the script. I put that in a uh, in a text file. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. <clears throat> Doing this through the pass through, looking at my keyboard. There we go. Yep. Oh, that's a comma. Let me look at the keyboard. There we go. Okay, so it's starting the server, and this is what it looks like. So you can see here. It's localhost, which is on your local device. If you're ever doing a VNC within the same device, you can just put localhost at port one is the starting one. The more you servers you start, they start going up to two, three, four, five. And be sure and remember to kill these um, VNC servers. Don't let them hang in the or keep running in the background because it's uh processes that are just gonna lag so just always try to make sure you just have one and uh see right here i've got a kill vnc sh that i made um touch typing with an ergo keyboard so anyway uh vnc server kill and um it's probably best practice just to make that all if there is a switch for that instead of calling out the specific uh, display. Just make it all so you can kill all of them with just a simple command if you ever want to. So anyway, we've got the VNC server running. So let me go back to root, US, uh, Ubuntu root. And we're going to start the server. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what this no PGP. I haven't dived into a lot of this. Agent found. 
I need to maybe install. Maybe it's a missing dependency. But as you can see, there's pulse audio. The audio part is a little jank at the moment and needs to be worked on. And uh, maybe if you guys can help contribute, that'd be great. Um, basically, just get a log from this and start uh, fixing some of these. I'm not sure why it says uh, no GPG session, but we'll look at that later. Okay, so now let me close that. Let's start. Let's put that there. And it's running in the background, uh, the Termax, Termux, whatever, sorry. It's running in the background. So let's load up the BNC, the BVNC app that I side loaded. Um, here's my, it's pretty straight up, Ultra VNC, you wanna use that. This, just name anything you want, Linux, uh, Ubuntu, whatever. Local host is what I was talking about earlier. We're communicating inside the device itself, so we can use a local host. Um, it's within the same local network, basically. Uh, 5901, or you can put one, but that's just the port. Um, when you create this, when you go through the steps in this video, it's going to ask you to, when you create the VNC server, when you first run the VNC server, it'll ask for a password. That's standard with VNC servers in Linux. They ask you for password the first time. Anyway, put my password there. This is all default. So let's go. Save that. And let's run that. Okay. So it's a little small because I forgot to open this one. And uh, if any of you guys find a better VNC, uh, Android VNC app to use, it would be ideal, ideal for someone, some developer to create an Oculus friendly, um, Oculus friendly VNC um, app. Anyway, so let's run it now. Okay, so here we go. Um, I went ahead and I've got my my mouse paired also, along with my keyboard. Let's see if it catches here. There it is. Okay. So it runs really, really nice. Um, I'm going to do some tweaks and you can do all your fun stuff, um, like the background. Uh, but basically, so um, I think we installed some backgrounds. Let's see. There we go. There's some nice ones. Let's change that. Four minutes, whatever, round. There we go. Okay, so it runs really, really nice. Um, especially if you close all this other stuff. Let's say we close this browser. Um, close other stuff that's running. Then, uh, I mean, it, it runs really good. So let's say you're on the plane and you don't have internet or whatever, but you need to work on some documents. Um, where's it at? Multimedia graphics. Huh, okay. Well, Open Office isn't installed. I thought it was installed on this one. Um, anyway, you can install Open Office and, uh, and you can work on word processing, do whatever you want. Basically, you've got a full-blown computer right in front of you, and you can work on projects, work on text files, type up stuff. I've got a foldable flat uh, Arago keyboard that's really small. It fits in the back pocket. I mean, it's really thin and small, and it's really nice. It's got battery lasts for weeks, and um, <clears throat> it's an Ergo. It's pretty small. But I do touch type and I use Ergo, so that's the way I do it. Um, let's see if this browser works, just for kicks. Um, what was that all about? Web browser. <laughs> okay, it's pulling up a terminal for the web browser. 
Not sure why. Okay. Let's see if we can force it. Uh, let's see. I think we had Firefox on here. Setting accessories. Maybe a system, maybe. No. Huh. Okay. Okay, I could have swore I had Firefox installed on here. Either way, um, just you can install whatever you want. And uh, this is the end result. <clears throat> it's uh, Ubuntu Lunar Lobster, one of the most recent builds out there. And uh, yeah. And it's got the uh, kernel 5.4.0. It's not rooted, so, and we're using the uh, Windows terminal. And this is your Oculus Quest CPU chip. Anyway, and we're not rooted, so we probably can't overclock it. Um, but anyway, it runs pretty good. And, uh, um, yeah, just, uh, it, 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 uh, it it does pretty much anything you want. I mean, as a Linux box to work uh, standalone. So anyway, that's a lot of enough rambling. If y'all come up, if anybody has a better VNC, Android VNC viewer client that works that that you prefer, mention it in the comments, and we will try that one see how that one goes that looks like synaptic installed let's see there we go look at that so we can install all our goodies from here on out <clears throat> i'd like to figure out how to do a backup an actual image backup figure out which uh, which partition it's on, where it's actually using a container, probably a file, with this whole image in it. So I'd like to back that up. Um, if anyone knows, let me know. But uh, there we go. All right, guys, you have a good one. And uh, until next time. <clears throat>